Hey, how's it going guys? Real World Bible Believer here. Back with another video. Today I have a quick one. We're just going to take a little look at this American Dictionary of the English Language. Noah Webster, 1828. So pretty much guys, if you want a dictionary that is going to be very accurate to the English and your King James Bible, this is the one that you want. This is the one that you want here. This, I think, is from the 80s. It's in very good condition. Here we have this. Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Webster's first edition of the Ameri of an American dictionary of the English language. So this is a facsimile edition. There goes that. There goes this. Noah Webster's 1820 dictionary needed to restore an American Christian education in the home, the church, and the school. Okay. So, this is going to give you a history of Noah Webster. Right. Introduction. Definition of language, origin of language. Russian, different languages here. All right, you got that. See that? Got the introduction. Check that out. Changes or loss of radical letters. It's gonna explain like the J's and things of that nature. So it's gonna give you a breakdown on those languages there, the main languages, the grammar of the English language. Which guys, let me tell you, before you go and pick you up a Greek New Testament or Hebrew Old Testament, please learn English first. If it is your first language, that would definitely help you with pronunciation of words. And then we just get into the dictionary here. It is very big, very big dictionary, guys. I think you should definitely have this if you're interested in, you know, definitions of words. In per obviously you could do everything online, but. It's just a little different having things in hard copy. Right. Corrections. Editions, corrections. All right, guys. That's that. Thanks for joining me. Have a nice day.